Today I'm going to be customising a seagrass basket with some super chunky yarn. I noticed that you really liked the video that I did with a dipped basket and a name on the basket. So this is a really similar one but you can put any word on there and it's going to be completely natural. Let's get into it. All these materials I'll link below. First of all I'm going to trim around the basket and make sure that there's no little bits and pieces sticking out from the seagrass. Then I'm going to decide which side is going to be the front and it usually is quite apparent where one of the sides is kind of lower or squashed and I think it is that side so I'm going to be securing the word to this side. I'm going to be using my pins and the wool to make the word dolls onto the basket. So first of all we're going to secure the wool and this is where all the time is spent on the prep. So I'm just marking out all the way along the word dolls. Obviously make sure it's nice and flowy and continuous and actually because this is not permanent this part you can change it as many times as you like. And you want to make sure obviously if it's a five letter name or it's a five letter word you want to make sure the middle letter is in the middle. So I'm scooching my name now, I'm scooching it across. Oh my God, it's gonna be so pretty. So I'm not happy with the D because it looks a bit small compared to the rest. So I'm going to just pop it up a little bit. That's looking great. So now I'm going to take my glue gun. Please uh, forgive this state of this, but I use it all the time. And I'm just going to carefully, starting from this point, just add a dab of glue here. Once you glue this on, it is not coming off. This wall is very, very forgiving. So if you miss glue a bit, then it's there for you. It is nice and thick.
And you know what? I'm going to cut that bit because these just look better on their own. start from the O. If anything, you just want to make sure that the letters are on the same line. <laughs> so this here is about a centimetre apart from the line and then you want to carry that all the way along. So that will look nice and neat then. I want the S to be a little bit taller than the O, well a lot taller than the O because we want it to look a little bit swishy and arty and I want the bottom of the S to not hang down. Because if this is having dolls in it, it's going to go through a lot of use. And we don't want any bits hanging off. Oh my gosh, I love this so much. Okay, and then to finish off, We, I'm going to do a swirly bit on the S. So I'm just going to sweep it around. Don't touch hot glue with your fingers. And then just make it look swirly. That is so pretty for a little girl's room to keep all her dollies in and just make sure that it's all secured. That is not coming off. It's really, really, really pretty. If you got value from this video, then you're gonna love this video where I personalize a basket with some cord, which is a really lovely gift for a baby shower or a new baby gift. So I'll see you there.